Now, in our previous video, we talked about what are what is a transpose of a matrix, what is a symmetric matrix, and what are skew symmetric matrices. Today, we'll be looking at a very simple question which concerns these uh, concepts of transpose, skew symmetric matrix, and mat symmetric matrices, and we'll look at uh, how we can use these uh, properties in our sums. So let's look at the question first. Every square matrix can be uniquely expressed as the sum of a symmetric and skew symmetric matrix. We need to prove this statement. Now let's look at the sum part by part. We have first been mentioned that it's a square matrix. Why are we talking about a square matrix? Because we have already said that we can only consider those matrices to be even uh, qualifying to be a symmetric or a skew symmetric matrix when they are square in nature. Because when we transpose a matrix, the dimensions of the matrix changes. So if we have a P cross Q matrix, its transpose will have the dim dimensions Q cross P. So if we have to equate the transpose of a matrix in any way, because in symmetric we have a perfect equality and in skew symmetric matrix we have a negative equality, we still have to look at the dimensions and make sure that the dimensions do not change. The only change occurs in skew symmetric matrix with respect to the sign. And in symmetric matrix, they are identical elements. So we have to make sure that even after transposing a particular matrix, the dimensions do not change. And that can only happen if the matrix is a square matrix. If you don't know the explanation or if you have forgotten, you can refer back to the uh, video uh, which I have posted last week. It should be uh, posted somewhere over here. It should have a tag somewhere over here. You can check that out. Now let's look at the sum. So let's say I have a matrix A. So this is the matrix that I'm talking about. This every, every square matrix, let's consider that to be A. We need to express it uniquely as the sum of a symmetric and a skew symmetric matrix. So let's say that I have a matrix A and let's say I already have the two matrices P and Q such that P is a symmetric matrix and Q is a skew symmetric matrix. Now by the property of symmetric matrix, we can say that P is equal to P transpose and by the property of skew symmetric matrix, we can say that Q is the uh, Q is equal to the negative of Q transpose. So these two properties will be used to ascertain the value of P and Q. Now, this is one equation that we have. We form another equation. So let's say I want to transpose this matrix, this entire equation rather. So what I do is I transpose this side. So A becomes A transpose. P plus Q is P, P plus Q whole transposed is P transposed plus Q transposed. That is another condition that you must remember. So we have to remember that P plus Q whole transposed for any P and Q. So you can always write A plus B whole transpose uh, gives you P transpose plus Q transpose. So this is again another algebraic uh, property essentially or an algebraic notation or whichever way you want to call it. It's an expression essentially uh, that helps you to find out the transpose of matrices. So we have A transpose equals P plus Q whole transpose. And if we solve it by, based on this property that we have written here, it gives us P transpose plus Q transpose. Now the property of symmetric matrix, which is P essentially, it says that P transpose is P. So we can write P transpose as P but the property of skew symmetric matrix where q is a skew symmetric matrix says that q transpose is minus q because if q is minus q transpose then q transpose is minus q so let me just write that down here we have minus q is equal to q transpose so essentially i can replace q transpose with minus q so i have a transpose equal to p minus q that is my second equation and we already have the first equation where a is equal to p plus q so this is a, these two are very simple uh, equations and simultaneous equations and what we can do is we can add these two equations and divide it by two which gives us p equal to a plus a transpose by two and then we can subtract these two equations and divide it by two, which gives us Q equals A minus A transpose by two. 
you can check and see that when I transpose this matrix, essentially what happens is I have A plus A transpose by 2 whole transpose. So I have A plus A transpose whole transpose by 2 is a scalar quantity. So it comes out and we have A transpose plus A. So if we reverse the direction, we'll have A plus A transpose. That is P is a symmetric matrix indeed. However, when we convert this matrix or when we transpose this matrix, that is A minus A transpose by uh, 2, the 2 is again a scalar quantity, so it comes out of the bracket. We have A minus A transpose by T, so that's A transpose minus A transpose whole transpose, so that's A. This, we can write it as we can take minus common and we can say it's minus A minus A transpose so essentially if i uh, divide it by divide both sides by 2 i get a transpose by a minus 2 uh, a transpose minus a by 2 equals minus a minus a transpose by 2 that is q is equal to minus q transpose so q is a set, indeed a skew symmetric matrix this property is a very important property and this question, this question essentially is asked a lot of times. So it's a very important uh, notation or an important note to be kept in mind that every square matrix can be uniquely expressed as the sum of a symmetric and skew symmetric matrix. That is, it has to be unique. So this is the only solution of the exercise. You cannot have different, different matrices that can be added to form the same matrix. For every matrix, there's only two such matrices which you can get such that you can get the given situation possible. 